Hello and welcome to another video from me, Mally, and my channel, Mally Davis Photography. Full name today. And today, we're doing a bit of social distancing. Can't get more social distance than that. Apart from, I'm with my good friend, Raymond McBride. He got in touch, said, fancy a one-to-one, -one, just me and you pop out and uh, head over to something a bit unique. One metre low tide, so the beach is stripped bare, and all we're seeing is just remnants of the what the tide's washed in. Starfish and oyster catchers are bombing around. Bit of history for you. I don't normally do this, but Mr. David Griff inspired me for at least have a little bit of research. So just at the 941 midpoint of the war this ship was built and sent out as a surveying ship on the coast of uh, the Wirral and the war had finished and this boat's out doing what it does and back then they must have put mines quite a few mines out to protect the coastline where the gunners were and sadly HMS Denham ran into one of these mines and exploded, capsized in 1946. Eight people died that day, one person survived. And there's more information obviously online. And if you wanna see more, have a look in the link down below. But it's a wonderful kind of walk out. It's, it's a fur way as you can see behind me. So we're gonna pay a bit of respect and try and get a photograph of something quite unique. I remembered the fallen, especially at this moment in time. I think it's quite poignant. So come on with us and let's go and see what's left of HMS Denham. This is not what I expected. It's probably the last two decks, uh, the hull of the boat it's probably still down there by a good six to 10 feet, maybe more. And as the tide's going out, it's revealing more and more. And it's pointing straight towards the uh, giraffes, as I call them, straight towards Perch Rock itself and the lighthouse. Now, of course, I'm gonna go wide on this and a bit of a long exposure to get some, some detail around the boat looking quite minimalist. Uh, one with the horizon and one without. I think it could be well worth doing a little horizon trick here with the mesh gradient tool and the mesh tool to just remove the distractions later on in post. I'll show you both. But for now, we're just having a think, setting up. Ah, it's wonderful. It's covered in barnacles and the detail is just superb. Have a quick look at this. Oh, we're getting some real drama and mood on the horizon as well because there's a storm over where I live and the behind us is just beautiful beautiful but right where we need it we've got all this interest uh, so I better get set up I'll come back and talk to you in a bit when I've got got myself in a, a good composition shouldn't be hard it, it's it's lovely quite abstract but the detailing on the boat works really well because you can still recognise what it is. And I think it's SS Denim, not HMS. So I stand corrected 
um, SS uh, denim and you can only get to this at a very low tide you've got to be careful that's why myself and Raymond have come out um, and we've also got a few cockle pickers knocking round so we're all right, we're all right. Say that when you post them out. <laughs> <laughs> we're both giggling, we're both giggling away here like, like teenagers because we've set up and <laughs> We're focused on the boat and the water and, and getting it smoothed out and this is happening. These clouds are just monumentous and growing and building in stature. Look at the size of that. Incredible. We couldn't have asked for better. They are perfect. We've got this wiggly line leading off, so I've set up, got a bit lower actually, because on the other side of the ship, if you can see it, the tide's gone out now, it's revealing all the sand. What I wanted was the water around the boat, and we've got this wiggly line going off, and uh, the two are married and joined in leading you out into this huge cloudscape. Now, I've gone with a hard edge grad, because the, the horizon's so far away, that I can pull it down and pull that detail down even more because it's so bright and white, the cloud. We want to retain all the, the lines of grey and fluffiness that's inside it. It's wonderful to see. It really is. We're so lucky. Um, I've got a starfish as well. He's going to join in the show. It's a little bit of a foreground. We'll see what happens. But at the moment, it's all about this cloud that's growing and the, the boat taking you down to Perch Rock, fantastic, just wonderful. We're set up at about, well I'm, I'm, I'm on bulb at the moment, because you know what I like to do, I like to experiment, and I've dropped it down to F11, because I've put a 10 stop in, and as you can see, the light's gone now behind the cloud behind us, so having it on bulb, I, I can just feel my way a little bit, I think we might have got a good exposure, yes, yes. <laughs> getting the twinkles a little bit on the water is blown out just a touch but I'm pretty sure I can bring that back I might swap to a medium, medium edge now while this light's dropped and we'll try another one right see you in a sec this is wonderful it's revealing the front of the boat oh the light's coming through the front of the boat I'll spin you around in a second uh, I'm still vertical I, I don't know what's happened because I used to shoot landscape for everything I just had your landscape time and boom and then lately we're messing around with vertoramas and uh, using the iPhone as well surprisingly enough to do a, a reverse panel of vertorama and just the, that paneling shape and getting the foreground and then the mid and the sky it's just another way for me to get more sky in absolutely love it so I'm going to spin you around now because the light is clipping inside with the boats. The water's revealed the, the hull of the boat. Have a look at this. I'm getting a bit excited. I'm trying to get the tip of the boat touching the tip of the horizon. I don't know if it'll work. I'm just thinking about composition elements and the lines leading us in. So we've got left, right, center and then the top line the sky and it's all making uh, these uniform lines and angles taking to the center of the boat if it works super i'll show you so we've got all our gear and we're heading back without the cockle pickers we've got to leave them and uh, say a farewell till next time because i will be back it's a fantastic uh, well, how can I describe it because it's it's so uh, dilapidated and the tide has taken most of it but I think that gives it more interest it makes it have more of a character in detail in what you're photographing so we're heading down now we're going to go and do old perch rock and sunset
I've shot this lighthouse so many times, vlogged it, not vlogged it, miss, hit, incredible, not incredible, emotional, everything. And today, as I stand here, I'm gonna have to shut up because look at this. Well, it's getting detail in the sky now and we've still got an hour till sunset. We're not giving up hope. Not at all. It's uh, we're still a good 20 minutes off sunset, and it looked like it was going to explode well earlier. But the cloud is building and building, and now, just on the horizon, we've got the faintest slip of light coming through. And if it catches, wow! Come on, come on! It's happening! It's happening! <laughs> The storm clouds gather, but they're behind us, but in front of us, if it's starting to, to break up. Above the lighthouse, we've got all the cloud is just starting to disappear. It's on the horizon now. We just want that sun to drop and have the gap to get through. Come on. I've just put on the group, it's happening, Perch Rock, New Brighton. I hope I've not just put mockers on it, but there's purple and pink and the sky is opening up again. This is going to be a long vlog and I do not give a monkey's elbow because it's worth it. Oh, the colour, look at this, look at this. I hope you can see that. I've just been taking shot after shot. Um, I was doing some real streaky sky, long exposure stuff and getting the reflection beautiful of the lighthouse in front. Um, but then I, I've gone to F8, I've dropped it down, I think it was F8, let me tell you. I've dropped it down to F8 and I'm going for around 30 second exposures now and keeping the detail in the sky. We've got a grad on and a, just a six stop, but I think I can take the six stop out. I don't think I need it. Oh my goodness, Ray, it's happening. Oh, what? Come on. What a fantastic evening it turned out to be. An all day, just uh, it didn't quite happen how we expected, but it was more than enough. The pinks were just so luminescent. I can't wait to see the shots when I get back. So there's only one thing left to say. And that's if you like what you've seen, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more, hit the notification bell. And well, there's only one thing left to say from Perch Rock, New Brighton. And that's, see there.